When consumed by ennui, I ask myself, what is it to dream? Dreaming is what sustains many and consumes others. Our dreams are tangible harbingers of what we wish to see in the world, whether they be dreams of malice or beneficence. I see those lost shepherds looking for the flock that is their dream, and in this vein it makes me wonder, what causes our dreams to fade? When do the sinews of our being dictate what is merely a hopeless prospect, and what is a serendipitous journey? From the moment we are born, we seek the answer to this query. We wish to know what it means to have purpose, and in such we are sustained by the dream that allows us to discover this. But what happens when our dreams are not within reach? What if our dreams are impossible in this realm? I wonder then, how do we assuage these feelings of remorse? We are bound by the ability to dream, it is what makes us human. The desire to dream and wish and hope, all of this imbibes us with the determination to simply be. The girl so eloquently playing doctor with her dolls, the boy diligently playing piano in his home alone, the college student half-assuredly scribing down notes during class, the mother breathlessly holding her newborn child. The dream is not desire, no. The dream is the chrysalis that gives birth to the lives we all wish to live. It is the penultimate zenith of every fiber of our being. It is what enables us to wake in the morning and push through the next day. It is the fuel that feeds our desires for a world worth living in, and that when we close our eyes we may see the world for what it is, for what we want it to be, for the dream. So in this lofty harangue, I entreat you. What is your dream?